Vivian Marcuse, licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, L076508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO 237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Hello and welcome to Mortgage Mom Radio. I am Debbie Marcoux and I am the Mortgage Mom. And what do we do here at Mortgage Mom Radio? Well, we're educating you on all things real estate and mortgage. We're bringing you all of the up-to-date information that you need to know to purchase homes, refinance, get your mortgage lending, make sure that you understand what your options are. We're looking out for your future, for your family. So this is Mortgage Mom Radio and I am Debbie Marcoux, the Mortgage Mom. What are we talking about today? Well, last Last week, we had a show recap. We were going over all of the really important things that we had talked about over the last couple of months, making sure that you guys didn't miss any of that really valuable, important information. I didn't even get to get through all of the different items, all of the things that we've talked about, announced. It's been a really, really busy first quarter of this year. So this is going to be our next show, recap number two, going through all of the important things that I touched on. On since the beginning of this year to make sure that you didn't miss out on anything. Remember, this is a recap show. So if you want to get the down and dirty, the full details, all of the information that you need, go ahead and go to back to the old shows that are there. They're all labeled. You can find all of them and you can watch them in detail every episode. So don't tune out. Don't miss out. I want to make sure that you are ready, that you guys know what we're talking about today and you get the information that you, you need. So once again, this is Mortgage Mom Radio and I'm bringing you a recap of everything we've done in the first quarter of this year. Now, how do you get a hold of us? What do you do? Give us a call at 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. That's W-E-L-E-N-D and the number four. Make sure to give us a call and get on the calendar or get your answers Get your answers immediately. We do have live transfers Monday through Sunday. If all of the phone calls are busy, it will go to call center and you can schedule a call back that day, Saturday and Sunday. So if somebody asks you if you'd like to schedule or book an appointment, please don't be shy. Please book the appointment. You will get a call back. But chances are you're going to give us a call and we're going to answer right away and start answering those questions for you without even having to book the call. So once again, that telephone number is 844 935 Three six three four. That's eight four four. We lend for you. W e l e n d and the number four. Now you can text that word and you can or that phone number. You can text us. Text the word mom to the same phone number and you will opt yourself in to get a link once a week to know when we do go live. That way you can actually watch us do it on YouTube. You can ask us your questions right into the feed and we're going to answer those questions for you right there on the spot. So text the word mom to 844-935-3634. You're also going to receive a link to download our phone app. Our phone app is awesome. It's got every tool you could possibly think of from being able to send me questions, watch our homebuyer workshop. Um, You can run calculator, run monthly payments, affordability. Everything that you need to do is right there in that phone app. So you're going to get that as well when you text the word mom. Now, you use that same exact phone number and you text RSVP, you will get links to our upcoming home buyer and homeowner workshops. You get to come in person and get your education from us on, again, all things real estate and mortgage. What are we doing in those workshops? Well, we've got a homeowner workshop where we're talking to you about selling your home and buying another home. 
What would you get in proceeds? How much in equity? What is your home worth? We're going to have all of the tools there for you to get you the information that you need to be able to go home and decide, is selling my home what I want to do? Is staying in my home what I want to do? Do I want to maybe add on, improve, and just hunker down and not not make that move? Are you behind on payments and you need to know what can you do to try to get caught up? What are your options? Is there any way that we can help you? Or do you need to sell? So those homeowner workshops are awesome. We also have home buyer workshops where we're teaching you how to buy a home from start to finish, beginning with the definitions, all the way through getting pre-approved, finding the property and getting closed on your home. What do you need for down payment? What do you need for closing costs? What do all those terms mean? What the heck is escrow? So Make sure you guys get registered. They're free tickets. We charge you nothing. It's at our Mortgage Mom Radio headquarters. We've got an events area that's all set up and we're doing those on a a rotating basis. So text the word RSVP to 844-935-3634 and you will get a link to the to the most recent dates that are available for both the homeowner workshop and the home buyer workshop. We do not monitor that. If you text us, we are not going to see your question. So please make sure that you either contact us through the webpage, send me an email to questions at Mortgage Mom Radio, or give us a call at the office. So once again, it's the same phone number for everything, texting mom, texting RSVP, or giving me a call at 844-935-3634. So now... On to our recap. What have we been talking about? What did we miss out on last week when I couldn't get through all of it within my hour? So number one, we did not get to recap on USDA. USDA was a great show that we did. I actually had the deputy director of finance for USDA. He was on. His name was David. He was amazing. Definitely something that I would suggest that you go back and that you watch on our YouTube page and learn all of the details about USDA. Are you one of those people that are thinking about leaving California like everybody else? You trying to get out maybe somewhere a little bit further out into the open? or more rural, well, USDA is going to help you do that. They're going to help you get in with zero down. You do have to qualify. You do have to qualify by income. We need to make sure that you have, you know, all of the right uh, means to be able to get into that USDA loan. But we talk about all of it in that show. We get into the fine details. Where can you get that loan? 100% financing. Can you finance some of your closing costs? Well, hey, as a matter of fact, that might be an option. So USDA, was a solid show definitely something that I would recommend that you go back you find it on our YouTube page and you watch it if you have any questions whatsoever about USDA we are here to answer them for you everybody on my team is absolutely um they're, they're capable of answering all of those questions and making sure that you get what you need to determine if that is something that is good for you. So give our office a call, ask to get transferred, schedule an appointment, send me an email, go to our website, go to the contact us, do it of you, whatever you have to do to make sure that you get through to us and you start talking about USDA. With that, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to keep talking recap. Next item up on the list is going to be buy downs. That was another big show that we had. And we're going to talk about that here in just a couple minutes. All right, and welcome back to Mortgage Mom Radio. I am Debbie Marcoux, and I am the Mortgage Mom, and every week I'm bringing you guys new information about all things real estate and mortgage. I have got a licensed real estate agent on my team. She's been licensed for almost 30 years. I have been in this mortgage industry for almost 28 years. Actually, I think over 28 at this point. And everybody on my team has been in the industry for well over 15. I don't have anybody on my team that has not been in the real estate industry in some fashion between mortgage or real estate for less than 15 years. You've got a solid group of girls here that are willing to answer all of the questions that you have. 
on any topic that you're thinking about. And if we don't know the answers, we are going to take our time to make sure that we get you to somebody who does. Even if it's something that I can't offer or I can't do for you, I will get you to somebody who can do it. So going back, recapping right now today, what are we talking about this time? We're talking about buy downs. I had an episode where I talked about buy downs. It's on our YouTube. You can go back, you can watch it, you can find it. And we were trying to come up with ways that you could possibly have an introductory rate, a way to start your monthly payment out a little bit lower to help those people that need to get into a home. Maybe you're in a newer job where you are starting out at a lower level, but you are very aware and it's almost guaranteed, if not guaranteed, that your income is going to increase year over year. So what does a buy down do? Well, a buy down helps you start at a lower interest rate and it will then gradually move its way up year over year until you get to a final rate that is still a fixed 30 year mortgage. So a very, very cool product, one that I really like quite a bit and I think that it is fabulous. Who is it fabulous for? Well, like I said, somebody that's maybe newer in their job and they know that they are going to have some upcoming increases in income. Are you a new teacher? Are you a nurse, a brand new nurse? Uh, are you a fireman or a police officer? Somebody that's starting off, maybe you're you know, in your probationary phase and once you get through that probation, then you're going to start uh, to build and you're going to get automatic increases in income. How about that commission job, right? You guys are out there, you're in sales, pharmaceutical sales, any kind of sales uh, where you might get bonuses or commissions, right? You just started the job. You've got the education. You're out there. You're building your pipeline. You're building your, your client base and uh, you haven't quite started to commission or bonus yet, but you know you will and what you will bonus and what you will commission is going to be significant in relation to your actual salary. So somebody like that, in order to get into a home today, what you qualify for or what you can afford monthly today, that monthly comfortable affordable payment today is a different payment than next year and the year after and so on. So the buy downs are really, really great for somebody that would be in that situation. It helps you to purchase a home. Uh, it helps you to feel more comfortable in the payment that you're signing on the dotted line for, knowing that when it finally gets to its full total adjustment phase, that you would be able to afford that payment. It also guarantees you what that payment's going to be. So you know in advance, on year three, this is what my payment will be. On year two, this is what my payment will be. So you will know years three through 30 or years two through 30, what that payment will be and you can budget for that and you can make sure in advance that you can afford it. So buy downs are really great. It's a great option to help somebody get in to a home today and help you to afford it later. So let me give you an example of a buy down and then I'm gonna cut it from there and I'm gonna tell you if you wanna know more, again, you wanna get into the nitty gritty, go to my YouTube channel, look up my show on buy downs and watch the whole episode where we get really, really deep into them, how they help, how they work, what kind of rate can you get. But just to go through it really quick, let's say that we do a two one buy down is what it is called and let's just say that today interest rate is five and a half percent and I'm just throwing numbers out there I'm not quoting rates right now I'm not telling you what kind of a rate you can get I'm just giving an example so let's say the interest rate today is five and a half percent if you did a two-year buy down or a two one buy down the very first interest rate for the first 12 months would be three and a half percent year two would be four and a half percent and year three to 30 would be five and a half percent. So you can see how the gradual change could help somebody who is new in income, knows that they have raises coming, knows after probationary periods, knows after their commissions start to kick in or their guaranteed OT starts to kick in or their bonuses kick in, that they're going to feel much, much more comfortable at the sales price at five and a half percent than they would today, which is helping them have a payment introductory start rate at the three and a half. So if you want to know more about buy downs, again, my team is awesome. They understand them. They know how they work. Anybody that you talk to can give you the information that you need. All you have to do is call our office. It's 844-935-3634. Again, that's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. 
W-E-L-E-N-D, and the number four. Call our office. You might get an immediate transfer to somebody. You might get to talk to the person picking up the phone. If you get our call service and you need to book an appointment, book it. Don't wait. If it's Saturday and you're listening by radio, you're not watching me do this live on YouTube, well, give us a call. If they don't answer, that means they're on the phone, but the call service will answer and they will let you book a call for today or tomorrow. If it's Saturday or Sunday, it doesn't matter. We're making those calls Monday through Sunday to make sure you're getting the information that you need when you need it. Many of you work during the week and it makes it difficult to check into these kinds of things. Don't worry, it's okay. Call us, book the appointment, and you will get a call back. If you call us, you might be pleasantly surprised, and they answer the phone and start answering your questions immediately. So call, call, call. If you don't want to miss a show, you want to do this with me live, you want to be able to answer my questions, you're listening right now and you've got questions you'd love to ask, well, if you could watch it and see me do it live on YouTube, you'd be asking your questions right into the feed, and I'd be answering them for you. So text the word MOM to 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. Just like I said before, it is the same exact phone number to call us as it is to text the word MOM. Now, it's not a monitored texting app. I'm not actually seeing your questions come through. So you've got two options. You can text MOM or you can text RSVP. If you'd like to come and do a workshop in person, whether you're thinking about selling your home and buying another, you might be behind on payments trying to save your home. If you are a homeowner, you want to come out to our next workshop. If you are a home buyer and you are hoping to buy a home and you want to get ahead, you want to make sure that you get pre-approved, you want to understand what you're doing, get that education, we're doing it in, per in person. So once again, if you text RSVP to our phone number, you will get the links to the next upcoming workshops for homeowners and home buyers, and you can select the one that works best for you and get those free tickets. Now, homeowners, one of the coolest things that we've actually done is we've already pre-negotiated very low commissions that you would pay, and we've already pre-negotiated escrow fees for you as well to keep those costs low and get the most amount of money in equity in your pocket, whether that's to sell and buy again, sell and keep your money, or if maybe you're in trouble, you are behind on those payments, and the best thing that you could do is sell your home, we wanna make sure that you walk away with as much as possible. So once again, text the word MOM or RSVP to 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU, W-E-L-E-N-D, and the number four. So when we come back, this is my recap show. We're talking about everything that we've gone over in the first quarter of this year, last couple of months. And I just finished with buy downs. Before that, we talked about USDA. And coming up right now next is going to be solar. So we did do a solar show. I'm going to give you a little piece on that. And if you want to go back to my YouTube and you want to check out that episode, like I said, go to the Mortgage Mom Radio YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and that way you know when we do these shows. But you can find my solar show there as well. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back to Mortgage Mom Radio. I am Debbie Marcoux. I am the Mortgage Mom, and today we're doing a recap of all the different shows that we've done since the beginning of the year. The first quarter, it was a big, you know, big quarter. We had so many announcements, talked about so many different things, and today we're just trying to get back to you to make sure that you guys heard them all, you didn't miss any of those, and if it's an episode that you'd be really interested in, you know that it's on my YouTube channel. You can go back, you can watch it, you can learn, and you can give our office a call to talk to anybody here about any of these uh, subjects or topics or anything that any questions that you might have. So here we go. We're moving into solar. One of the episodes that I did earlier this year was about solar. And we talked about should you get solar on your home? Who qualifies for solar? Who, why does solar work? Where doesn't it work? Where does it work? Uh, how does it work, right? We talked about power purchase. We talked about leasing panels versus purchasing 
purchasing panels. How is purchasing panels different than a power purchase? We talked about so many things solar that if that's something that you've been thinking about doing, you've been wondering if it's something that would be worth it for you on your home, it would be a great episode for you to go back and to watch and to learn. We talked about net metering and we talked about how some utility companies uh, offer a better um, monthly or a better dollar amount basically in the net metering, what they're going to pay you back for the amount of power that you're selling basically back to them. Um, some power companies, it just doesn't make sense what they're going to give you back for the overproduction that your panels provide is just not enough that it makes sense to even do solar on your home. Solar is a very important uh, decision and you want to make sure that it does cost and cost average or cash flow for you. You want to make sure that it is something that you're spending money on and it makes sense to do so. So our solar episode was awesome. I had a great guy on with Peak Power Solutions. His name was Matt. He brought us through all kinds of really great information, things that we don't know, we don't understand, terms that we don't understand. And it was it was a fabulous show. So if you've been thinking about getting solar, you want to know more, make sure that you guys go back to my YouTube channel and look for our solar episode and go ahead and watch that. There was just so much information and it was really, really great. I can tell you that I just put solar on my home and for my home where I live, it certainly made a giant difference. So check it out. If you've been thinking about doing it, it is hard to make that decision. It's hard to know which one to do. And that was an episode that you just don't want to miss. So once again, I'm doing a recap today on all of the things we've talked about since the beginning of the year. Today is recap number two. We Last week we talked about our lock and shop program. We talked about our earnest money deposit insurance program. We talked about our workshops that we have coming up for the home buyers and home owners. And this week so far, we've touched on USDA, buy downs, and now solar. So we're going to take a super fast break once again. And when I get back, another thing that we talked about this year so far has been adjustable rate mortgages. And I'm going to talk about those once again. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, well, welcome back to Mortgage Mom Radio. I am Debbie Marcou, and I am the Mortgage Mom. And trust me, I trademarked that. So if you hear somebody else calling themselves the Mortgage Mom, they just aren't. It's not true. I am the true and one and only Mortgage Mom. So what are we doing? We're bringing you all kinds of information about all things real estate and mortgage. And we've been doing that for the last five years. I started this radio show actually in 2000 and. 16. So we've actually got much more than five years on the books. We started the podcast in 2017. So if you were to go back to my podcast, you'd have episodes that span all the way back to 17. And I started this YouTube channel bringing you the shows every single week live in 2019. So, you know, we've been doing it for a while. We've got tons of subjects, tons of things that we've talked about. Obviously, as the time and the years go by, things have evolved. We've talked about how interest rates are falling, hurry up and refinance. Now we're talking about interest rates are rising. Um, hurry up and get yourself locked in if you haven't done so already. You know, property values are going up. First time buyers need to get get you into a home, make sure you lock that in. Tax advantages, we've had our tax grandma on year over year during tax season. Uh, so we're really trying to do everything that we can to make sure that we're helping you and your family get to that next place, wherever it is that you're trying to go. Whether that be, you know, buying your first home, refinancing your property, um, getting, you know, equity out of your home to go buy another property, getting equity out of your home to pay off some debt, maybe do some home improvements, do an addition, sell your home and buy another, uh, trying to keep as much equity in your property as you can, as we can, uh, by pre-negotiating, you know, uh, real estate commissions and escrow fees. So no matter what it is that we are doing, or no matter what it is that you're trying to do, we're trying to bring you that information, trying to get you guys a leg up by being our listeners and, you know, bringing you all of the education that we possibly can. So this is a recap show, everything we've talked about since beginning of the year, boy, has it been a whirlwind really has been a crazy, crazy year. 
we started the inter- out with interest rates still pretty low in the 3% range. And within a matter of months, we were jumping into the high fours and low fives. We've kind of leveled off a bit. We're in those kind of low fives right now at the moment for most of our loan products. We still have some where we can get you into the fours. Um, but for the majority, we're into the 5% range at this point. We've done that all within a matter of months. I mean, it's definitely things have gone pretty crazy, pretty fast. Now, um, we've talked about the Federal Reserve and increasing the prime rate. That's another show uh, that you could go back to on my YouTube channel and explore. And we talked about how often that the Federal Reserve has said that they're going to be increasing the prime rate. And what does that mean to you? And what loans that you currently have does that affect? Uh, We've talked about, you know, inflation and we've talked about things that you can do to try to maybe bring your monthly budget down and bring your costs down to try to hedge against the inflation and try to help your cash flow monthly. Uh, We've talked about so many things on this show, truly um, getting pools put in. I I can't even go back to everything that we've ever discussed, but check out the YouTube channel, check out all of the shows and, and watch them and learn. We're bringing it to you, just trying to do everything we possibly can to help our listeners take their, take their, um, selves to the next step. You know, do you want to buy your next investment property, your first investment property? Are you trying to build a portfolio? Um, gosh, you guys, those things are so important. They truly are. So adjustables, right? I said I was going to talk about that when we came back from the break. That was one of the things that we touched on uh, earlier this year was, you know, how can we get you guys into some loan programs to keep those interest rates low? What do I think about adjustables? Do I like them? You know, adjustable rate mortgages are not something that we've talked about in a really long time. Over the last, you know, really... um, probably 10 years, we've been on the escalator of down, you know, we've been at the mall and we've been going down from uh, level two to level one. And we've been doing that very, very, very slowly with a couple of bumps in the road and a couple of, you know, hikes here and there. And in the end of 2018, we saw a pretty fast fluctuation in an upward motion. And then beginning of 2019, they started to come back down again. But at the end of 2018, we actually saw interest rates that were six and a half um, percent, six and three quarters percent. I have clients that did purchases that were at that interest rate. So we have a lot of clients that are maybe have never bought a home before. And over the last 10 years, I would say that the average interest rate has been in the 5% range. And, you know, then we got really lucky and started seeing interest rates in the fours and then the threes and then the pandemic and the twos, right? So, you know, hearing that rates right now are in the the low fives uh, can be a little bit of a, of a, you know, a shock. It can be like literally a shock to your system. You feel like you walked into a glass door. You thought it was an open, you know, an open walkway and it was a glass. It was really clean glass door. And trust me, I've done that before, broke a tooth. Um, But, you know, it's something that that might be a, a bit of a shock to you right now, even though those interest rates are still really great. They're still phenomenal. They're nothing to be scared of. Even 6% is still amazing. Um, But what can we do to maybe get you into a little bit lower interest rate that maybe makes you feel a little bit better? Well, we can look at adjustable rate mortgages. Adjustables are going to start at a lower interest rate than a fixed rate mortgage would be. Now, they can be a little bit aggressive, right? They can be a little bit scary and adjustable means it's going to move with the market. So I don't necessarily put um, suggest or typically want to see a client take a short-term adjustable. I don't want to see you get on a six-month adjustable where it can change every six months. I don't want to see you on a monthly adjustable. I don't want to see you on a yearly adjustable. I want to see you get into something that's a little bit longer term. And a lot of people don't realize that those exist or that they're even an option. So I do want you guys to go back to my episode on YouTube where I did talk about adjustables. I talked about long-term adjustables, a 10-year arm where an interest rate is locked in and fixed for the first 10 years of a loan, a seven-year arm where you've got the opportunity to be fixed for seven years. So there are longer-term adjustables that the start rate will start at a lower rate than a 30-year year fixed would be, and it will give you that opportunity to keep that lower interest rate, save on that interest for that longer period, that longer term that is that locked rate. Now, at the end of the term, it does become an adjustable. What do I think about that? Well, I truly feel that on an adjustable rate mortgage, the best person suited, just like buy downs, buy downs are suited for people that know that their income is going to go up. They're very aware that they're at the low end of the spectrum based on the career that they just started. So for an adjustable rate who who should do that who should think about it who should you know possibly explore it well 
If you're getting into your first home and you think that you're only going to be there for three, four, five years, and then your goal would be to sell the home and move up and go buy another, somebody that is maybe getting into the financing shorter term, a couple of years, and then their goal would be to refinance the home, pull cash out, do a complete remodel or a rehab. Um, somebody that is buying a property that this is going to be the last home that they buy while their kids are still living in the home. Uh, their children are all in teenage years. They know that they're going to be going off to college soon and they really don't see themselves staying in that property for more than 10 years. Adjustables are great, but we want to plan for the future. We want to look forward and say, is this a three-year home, a five-year home, a seven-year home, a 10-year home? We want to make sure that the interest rate that we're putting you in and the monthly payment is something that you can afford during the time that you hold the property for the entire time that you plan to be there. If you tell me that you plan to be there for the next 20 years and you're not leaving, I really think we should be looking at a 15, 20, or 30 year fixed mortgage. So I wanna make sure that everybody listening understands Adjustables are not for everybody, but they're definitely for some, and they can definitely start you out at a lower interest rate than where a 30-year fixed rate would be today. They will obviously save you money in interest, what you're going to pay over the term of the time that you hold the loan, you keep it before you pay it off, and it's definitely something that's worth exploring. So how do you do that? How do you ask your questions? You give us a call. It's 844 935 36 Three, four. That's 844 We Lend for You. W E L E N D and the number four. Give us a call. You'd be pleasantly surprised. Somebody might answer that, that phone and be willing to talk to you immediately. If you do go to our call service or our front desk, that is because all phones are occupied. That's okay. Book yourself an appointment. I don't care if you're listening by radio on Saturday or Sunday or if you're listening by YouTube Monday through Friday. Um, make the appointment. We are going to call you back same day, Saturday and Sunday. We will call you back. So if they don't answer the phone and they're not prepared to answer your questions immediately, book the call, make the appointment, let us call you back and let us talk to you. So once again, that's 844-935-3634. That's 844 We Lend for You. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. All right, so welcome back to Mortgage Mom Radio. I am Debbie Marcoux and I am the Mortgage Mom. Today is our recap number two episode where we are going through all of the different things that we have announced since the beginning of the year. It has been a whirlwind, like I said. There have been so many great announcements. Obviously, when interest rates go up, uh, we've got to come up with a way to still keep homes affordable and keep bringing you guys information. So in our recap one episode that we just did last week, we talked all about our lock and shop program. Lock that rate in now and shop for a loan up to 150 days, knowing that the interest rate is not going to go up any higher. So that is a fantastic program. We have our earnest money deposit insurance program where we're getting your fully pre-approved. You can write an offer with no loan contingency and you can waive your rights to your earnest money fantastic pro program as well. We also talked about um, our workshops for our home buyers and our home owners. So definitely check that out. We've talked about USDA, buy downs, solar, adjustable rate mortgages. We've talked about so many things since the beginning of the year, trying to bring you guys every piece of information, education, give you an edge, give you a leg up against your competition. We want to see you owning homes. We want to see you building your portfolio and starting to buy investment properties. We want to see you guys just going, going up all the way to the moon and back. So this is Mortgage Mom Radio. Check out my YouTube channel. Go back and watch those episodes. Call our office if you just want to talk to us about them. If you're intrigued, if you have questions, if you heard something that might benefit you, that might help you, Come on out to our home buyer workshops. Get yourself your free tickets. You can't come out if you don't have a ticket. So make sure that you do get one and it's free. Again, this is Mortgage Mom Radio. It is free education. That's what we're doing for you guys here. And I want to make sure that I'm helping you guys get a leg up, get your offer accepted, and build that portfolio. If you have any questions whatsoever, text the word mom to 844 935 
3634. That's going to get you a link to our phone app that you can download and save to your phone. You can do everything you could possibly do on our website right there through your phone. You can send me a message. You can ask me questions. You can run payment calculators. You can run affordability calculators. You can run refinance calculators, USDA, FHA, conventional. It's all there for you guys. Everything you could possibly need. You can watch our YouTube channel right through the phone app. So get it. You guys can RSVP for our home buyer and our home owner workshops. You can read what those are all about right there through the phone app. So text the word mom to 844-935-3634. You want to RSVP for those workshops and you don't have the phone app? Text RSVP to that same exact telephone number. And if you want to get somebody on the phone, and trust me, we would love for you to call and answer your questions. You call that same exact phone number any time, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We're answering the calls. If it's after hours, schedule an appointment. If it's during hours and you need to schedule an appointment, that just means that we're on the phone. So book the appointment. We'll call you back Saturday, Sunday, and all Monday through Friday. Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope I gave you some things to think about. I hope you've got some questions back there that you want to ask. Um, tune in every Monday and Wednesday on YouTube. I'm doing it live at one o'clock. That's one o'clock Pacific time on YouTube. It's Mortgage Mom Radio, the website, Mortgage Mom Radio. If you search Mortgage Mom Radio, you're going to find us. Don't forget the radio. It's very, very important. Monday through Friday on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to turn it to all. That way you don't miss a show. You can watch me do it live. You can ask your questions in the feed and you're going to get your answers immediately. I hope you guys all have a fantastic one and I'll see you next week. Debbie Marcuse, licensed license by the Department of Financial Institutions and MLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, LO76508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom.